Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're doing something that I actually have not done in a very, very, very long time, and that is a review. And for those of you guys who have been watching me for a while, you know that I don't really like doing reviews, mostly because one, they're boring, two, I don't really switch up my beauty routine that often, and three, the general public is convinced that beauty gurus are literally spawns of Satan and were sent down to earth to literally fool everybody and lie to them into buying crappy products. A few days ago, I was doing some sister shopping with my stylist online to pick out some really cute summer clothes. And I was on ASOS, which if you don't know what that is, it is a really, really cute online clothing retailer. Hashtag not sponsored, but hashtag should be. And I actually came across the beauty section on their website and found out something that had me shook to the core. And that was that Crayola, the crayon company that we all used to draw with when we were kids, came out with a full on makeup line. At first sitting there, I was very much sister stumped on why the heck an art supplies company would release a makeup line, but then I remembered it's kind of within the same realm and you guys just saw me do my full face using only art supplies a few weeks ago and clearly the actual products worked out pretty well, so it might not be that strange of a business move for them, but regardless, I bought the entire collection today. I'm very, very, very excited to see how these products actually test out. Will they be good or will they literally be like crayons on my face? We're gonna find out, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So I'm on the ASOS website and I just searched up Crayola and it looks like that they launched 57 different items to the collection, which is actually like very, very large. I definitely picked up a lot of different things today that I'm excited to try out. And there are things on this website ranging from brushes to eyeshadow palettes to mascaras to highlighters to face crayons, which I have no idea what that is, but I guess we're going to find out. So starting off, I picked up two different eyeshadow palettes that they launched right off the bat. I'm going to say packaging, absolutely beautiful. This rainbow moment is so, so, so cute. And I got the nude eyeshadow palette and the mermaid eyeshadow palette. Brands, if you're watching this, please stop releasing mermaid and unicorn themed items. We are all over it. This has been a PSA. <laughs> the palettes retail for $29 online and they come with 10 shadows in each kit, meaning each shadow is $2.90. Wow, I love being the queen of math. And they're actually both cruelty free and vegan, which is really, really great. I also picked up the Crayola face palette, which once again retails for $29 and contains 10 different, oh. This is the face palette. I really thought this was gonna contain a contouring color. I grabbed their customizable lip palette, which is $35 and once again contains 10 different shades, perfect for mixing. I am very, very excited to try this out later on. I don't know if any of you guys know this or have ever tried it, but Anastasia Beverly Hills actually has a really, really great formula for their customizable lip palette. So I'm gonna be very interested to see how this performs in comparison to that one. I grabbed the highlighter crayon and the shade Shimmering Blush and this one was $17.50, which looks like this. Interesting. I'm a little bit scared to put this over top of my foundation, but we're gonna make it work, hopefully. I grabbed two different mascaras in black and navy blue, and these retail for $16. But then here's where the collection for me went a little bit sister south. Good Lord. <laughs> I picked up some of the Crayola face crayons and I grabbed a yellow, a black, a white, a mango color, a blue, a red, and a nude color just to try out different eye looks today. Now these look great. On the website they retail for $14.50. Now to me, this price tag seems a little bit um, high, being that you're only getting 0 0.07 ounces of product for $14.50. And I know for a fact that Milk sells their jumbo eye pencils for like $6, which is literally like the same exact product. Hello. I literally spent $101.50 on all seven of these eye pencils. And what I find even more ridiculous is that you can literally go to the craft store and buy a 96 packet of crayons, which are probably, let's be honest, the exact same thing as this for $9. I got 96 crayons for $9 and I got seven eye crayons for $101.50. Something does not add up here if you ask me. And finally, my last purchase of this collection is probably the worst of all them being this Crayola Beauty makeup brush set and case. Now, when I saw this brush set online originally, I was like, wow, it's so cute. Look at this brush case. Are you kidding me? Holographic Crayola, gorge. And then I bought it for $40 and I opened it up to find this. Four eyeshadow brushes. Four. Quattro. I don't think so. Before we go ahead and actually start my look today, I thought we should do some sister swatches of the different eye crayons because these are really what I'm most excited to see how the heck these perform. So let's start off with the shade white. Ooh, okay, so it's definitely a very, very creamy formula. Thank God it doesn't feel like an actual crayon on my arm. We have the shade Dandelion. So cute that these are actually matching to the real names of the Crayola pencils. Putting these on, they actually feel kind of like oily to apply. I really thought they were gonna be a lot more like hard. I definitely am interested to see if these are going to dry down because 
does. They definitely do transfer, as you can see. It kind of feels like you're applying a lipstick to your arm, whereas I felt like they were gonna be a lot more dry. Next, we have the shade Mango Tango. Okay, I guess this one is a little bit sparkly. That's kind of pretty. I definitely wanna try to use that one as a blush. Next, we have the shade Red. Oh, wow, that... <gasps> you're kidding. That was with literally zero pressure. Yeah, these are really sister soft. This is like a lipstick. Wow, that did not last long. This is a mess already. Next, I picked up the shade Navy Blue. This one also has a little bit of sparkle to it as well. That's a really pretty color, not gonna lie. Oh, I wanna use that on the lower lash line. I also picked up the shade Desert Sand, which is like a little nudie color. I got this for the waterline, and this is really, really pretty. And then finally, of course, I got black. That is like the worst black that I've ever swatched in my entire life. What is that? You think of all the colors of black would be like the best one, if anything. Okay, I'm a little bit sister spooked after these swatches, but you know what? I wanna see how this is gonna turn out. Let's just jump right in. I'm gonna first grab the face palette because I'm looking a little bit flat right now and I'm literally scared. And I'm going to attempt to contour somehow. I'm first gonna grab the blush brush from this collection and grab I think this shade right over here and try to contour this. Let's see, luckily there's a mirror in here which is actually really helpful. It's not like bad, it's just like not there. I was definitely right in the beginning when I said that this palette definitely does not have a contouring option which is, hello, it's a face palette. I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D shade and light palette and just contour and then I'm gonna go back to that in 30 seconds for blush and highlight and the full shebang. Okay, we're back with our regularly scheduled programming. Did you miss me? I know you did. I'm gonna grab the blush brush once again. I'm gonna dip into this kind of metallic-y coral copper shade down here. It actually looks very, very stunning. I wanna try to use this for a blush today. So once again, it's not showing up. Can you see that? What is going on? Why is it not showing up with my face? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's there. She's there, she came to the party. Oh, I love that, okay. I feel like this blush shade is like absolutely perfect for a really beautiful bronze look for the summertime to kind of transition your bronzer to your highlight. I really actually like this shade a lot. Oh my God, wow, okay, cool. Great, love that. You guys might like to do highlighter early on as well, so I'm gonna go back into the shade in a short second. I wanna lay down this highlighter stick as a base first. This is in the shade Shimmering Blush, and once again, I think this was $17.50. These kind of remind me of like the milk sticks and that, oh, it's is barely there. Come on, Crayola. This is like the texture of what I thought the face crayons were gonna be like. Like this has that waxy kind of more dry texture that I was expecting and that does not look good. It's actually picking up the foundation underneath, which is definitely not good. Ew, it does not look good. That is canceled a million percent. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Instead, what I'm gonna do is give my face a light spritz of Fix Plus, just like I always do before I apply my highlighter and I'm gonna get my Morphe M501 brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here in the face palette, which actually looks like a really, really pretty highlighter. And let's try out this instead. Okay, not mad at that. See, that looks good. Great, love that. The true test here is can it snatch a sister schnoz? Let's see. That is the face all complete. We are chiseled out. We added a little bit of color and now we are glowing from within. I'm actually really, really loving how this is looking so far, but I'm gonna bake my face and set it in place and I'll be right back a little bit closer up to start off the eyes. Okay, literally about to start in the eyeshadow and literally look. The pack, it's literally falling apart. You're kidding. Okay, this is just getting worse and worse and worse by the second. We're gonna pretend like that shadow didn't just fall out of the entire package. Good Lord, I am scared. Okay, let's freaking do this thing. At this point, I'm gonna start off with the nudes eyeshadow palette, which is literally falling apart at its seams. I feel like I really wanna keep with the theme that I have going on. It's officially summertime. I know some of you guys are graduating. Congratulations, by the way. So, before I even jump into the eyeshadow palette, I actually wanna grab the yellow face crayon, and I think I wanna pop this in the inner corners for like a little fun pop of color and see how it actually turns out. It's actually showing up on the skin, surprisingly. I guess I'm just gonna grab like a blending brush and see if I can buff that out. Okay, they do blend, thank God. Oh, wait. No, they don't. What the heck? Okay, so the crayons actually do blend out, but it definitely loses like almost all of its pigmentation when you blend it and it doesn't dry. Like it's still tacky feeling. This is not going well. I'm gonna put a little bit more on to bring some of that color back. Similar to the highlighter too, it's actually taking off the foundation from underneath the crayon. It still looks fine. Oh my God, you guys can't even. Oh, wow, hashtag first world problems when you buy too expensive of a camera and it still looks good. So looking at the news palette, it looks like there are four matte shades and then six different shimmer shades, which is a very, very bad ratio. There should never be more shimmer shades than matte shades in a palette. I wanna grab that red crayon that literally melted off when it was touching my hand and see if one, I can create an orange in the middle of this eye look and also kind of wing this out on, oh my God. Why is this red doing this? Let's grab the one eyeshadow brush in the entire brush kit and try to blend this out. The sad thing is I'm like actually 
really trying here. Like, I don't want a lawsuit from Crayola, but like, I can feel it coming. Okay, that's not that horrible. What if I grab like a regular Morphe brush? Okay, that's not horrible. It's like bad, but like not the worst. Me, <laughs> with everything in life. I wonder if I grab a blending brush and like do a little bit of this. Oh, okay, that actually works. Okay, what's actually really annoying is that blending the red and the yellow together like didn't make orange. I wonder if I put this mango shade in here, what that will do. Nothing. It's gonna do absolutely nothing, apparently. Why can't I make orange? Like red plus yellow. Wow, look at me being an artiste. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui. welcome to Paris. Maybe these are supposed to be like used when you're like not wearing makeup. It's like a, like just over like a eye thing. Or like you like just put it on the cheek like as like a light on the go type of thing. This is just not good. <laughs> I think is the conclusion that I'm coming to here. Okay, I wanna figure out how to somehow finish this eye look and I wanna do a half cut crease so I can try out some of the shimmer shades in here because they actually look really, really stunning and I love the highlighter in the face palette that we used beforehand. So I'm gonna grab my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna cut out the crease, but I'm actually really nervous to do this being that these shadows are cream and are not drying down in the slightest bit. So this might all get mixed together and we're gonna find out in a few short seconds. I'm gonna grab a Morphe M224 brush and start off with this kind of light gold shade right here at the bottom and I'm gonna pack that on the lid. Hello? What the heck? What, like these swatch so nicely. Where is this on the eye? Hello, I do not see that, do you? I feel like I need to treat you all like children right now because we're doing a Crayola makeup tutorial. What is going on? Now that the crease is all kind of cut, I'm gonna grab this like metallic kind of ready orange shade right here on a fluffy brush. And I wanna use this to blend out the outer edge into that red shadow that we have going on. I'm just gonna pop this right here. Oh, that's a good shadow. Okay, not mad about it. I definitely wanna deepen up that outer V a little bit too and add some more dimension. So I'm just gonna grab a Smith 235 brush and dip into this kind of like muted gray tone up in this corner. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Let's just try this. This is probably one of the worst eye looks I've ever done. And I'm literally not even being dramatic. Yes, I am, but. <laughs> I definitely wanna use as much of the colors as possible. So we did get a black crayon and I want to try to do wing liner with this, which I know I'm going to regret, but you know what? You don't know unless you try. Why is this black so sheer? Why would you ever want a black that looks like this. Oh my God, this is also a cream, so it's literally not gonna dry down either. Okay, that looks the, literally the worst. All right, so that is the upper lash line all complete and it looks not good, but let's move on to the lower lash line. I think I wanna add a pop of color because I really am dying to try out this mermaid palette. <sighs> I first wanna go into the crayon in the shade navy blue. First of all, this is like Serline, that color that we all loved, not dark blue. I wanna pop this right up here for a fun pop of color and see how this works. See, that's actually really pretty, like that, I can get behind. We love, great. And then I'm gonna grab a mix of these two shades right up in here with my Morphe M149 brush and use that to pack right over top to actually set in these shades because cream eyeshadows, whether or not Crayola knows it, are um, supposed to be set with something. With that same brush, I wanna dip into this darker purple shade right up in here and give that a spritz of Fix Plus as well and pack that on the outer corner because purples are so pretty and I feel like it's very, very rare that you see like a metallic purple in an eyeshadow palette, so I really wanna test this out. Okay, you know what? As much as I was making fun of it, the Mermaid eyeshadow palette 100% outperformed the nude palette. This actually is really pretty. I just can't get over the fact that this black eyeliner is literally like not black. Who does that? Why would you ever do that? Okay, so I got this nude shade Desert Sand to pop in the lash line, so we're gonna pop it in the lash line. Did that work? I feel like that did like very, oh, I guess it kind of worked. Okay, should I try white instead? Oh, okay, that's actually a bomb white liner, kind of. All right, that is enough of the eyeshadows. <laughs> I bought mascaras. These were $16 each. I'm gonna start off with the black one on the upper lashes and see how this mascara actually performs. I like this wand a lot, actually. Wow, as if filming this video literally could not get any worse. I am out of lash glue. I'll be right back. 20 minutes later. All right, finally. Huh, that is one eye look all complete. Looking in the mirror, I actually don't hate how this turned out. I feel like we had a mission to go on and although we may have failed, I like the direction that this was going in and I really wanna recreate this look sometime soon with like a really good working product. That being said, this eye look literally took me 45 minutes to do and I still don't feel like it's up to par. The blending is not great. These cream shadows still are not dry down, which is very, very strange and it's just not as vibrant and pigmented as I was like them to be. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera really quickly and hopefully try to do it a little bit faster and I'll be right back to finish up the rest of this Crayola book. All right, hello, I am back, and those are both eyes all complete, thank God. I'm gonna finish up my look today with a lip, so let's go ahead and grab the Custom Lip 
palette. I think I want to do probably just like a nude lip. I did a rainbow eye look, so I think I need to like balance it out a little bit. So I'm thinking that I want to mix this shade together right here with a pink to make a slightly lighter nude. Um, let's see how this actually works. I'm gonna grab this mauve shade right down here, mix it on my arm, I guess, and then a little bit of this white shade as well. Okay, they definitely are really creamy, that's for sure, which is great. I want to add a slight bit of yellow as well and make it a little bit more peachy toned. Let's try this. <laughs> what the heck? That is not what I wanted. Okay. It kind of tastes like, um, like not good. Ugliest lip color ever for this look. It's like a bright Barbie baby pink. Like, no, that is not what I wanted. I wanted like a dark nude. <laughs> How do I make that? Maybe like, should I add brown? <laughs> 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 I would love to tell you how I got to this color, but I don't even know myself. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm calling it quits for this video today. This review has been something else. Crayola, sweetie, love you the most. You made my childhood pretty iconic, but I think we need to stick to our 96 crayons for $10 because all this is not working out. Overall, this collection is not absolutely the worst, but I definitely would not recommend you guys to go and run and spend your money on it. These face crayons, I would have to say by far, are the worst thing in this entire collection. They're way too waxy, they're not that pigmented, they do not blend out very well, they don't dry down, and they're way, way, way too overpriced. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils are a much better alternative. The eyeshadow palettes, however, were actually not that bad, specifically the face one. I actually really, really like this one. This highlighter shade right here looked absolutely stunning on the cheeks, and this metallic coral blush, I am literally in love with. I wanna reach for this all the time this summer. And the Mermaid palette, as such as I was actually making fun of it in the beginning was actually a pretty bomb as well and I love how it looks on the lower lash line. The lip palette, although I was having a really hard time finding a decent shade at first, I feel like I was actually able to mix together a really beautiful nude and the formula feels really, really, really nice but I would definitely recommend buying a lipstick instead because I know most of you guys don't want to sit there every single morning and mix together a lipstick. I know I certainly don't. The mascaras were okay. They definitely like did their job of coating the lash and giving them a little bit of a lift but they're definitely not something that I would recommend or say that you needed in your life and the brush collection is an absolute no. Please never spend $40 on four brushes ever. I actually really, really do love the look that I came up with today, but it just took me way too much time, way too much effort, and way too much packing and blending to be able to really get a good eye look going on. I'm actually really disappointed because you guys know I say it all the time, I sort of free makeup for the art. And you guys know I grew up drawing, painting, and coloring, and Crayola actually did have a huge, huge part in my life, and it got me through a lot of really, really tough times as a kid, but it really sucks to say that I will not be recommending this collection to you guys, and it will definitely not be part of my future makeup routine. That being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. I'd love to have you join the sister. It's a pretty lit time. And click that bell icon so you can notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes side stuff is James Charles, the next year S after Charles. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Ethan. Thank you so much for you for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet your video links and they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today. Thank you for watching this crazy, crazy review. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.